have it is that <laughs> somebody please get me another coffee over here because I clearly need it. Hey everyone, it's Amy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. If you are new, thanks for coming at all. I hope you decide to stick around, hit that subscribe button and become a member of the Art Squad. Today we are going to do another decluttering video because I love to get rid of junk and you guys love to watch decluttering videos so everyone's a winner today. Well, maybe I won't be a winner today actually because I am doing something a little bit different. If you've seen any of my other decluttering videos, then you know that I like to go in con Mary style, pick a category and just focus on that. And if I'm pushed a little further out of my comfort zone, I will tackle an area like a specific cupboard. I never do a specific room all at once. Who has the time or mental capacity to declutter an entire room in one go? Do those kinds of people exist? Is that a thing? Is that an option? It's not an option for me, okay? But today, I'm really setting myself a true decluttering challenge to declutter 20 items from my bedroom in 20 minutes. <sighs> Pretty much the whole room has been decluttered bit by bit, but I still feel like maybe there are some outliers lurking that we could get rid of. I have no idea how this is gonna go. It could be a complete success could be a complete failure. I encourage you guys to take on this challenge and see if you can declutter 20 things in 20 minutes or even 10 things in 10 minutes or 10 things in 30 minutes. I don't know, set your own parameters, live your own life. I'm gonna shut up now and just actually do the thing, okay? Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. I'm going to start in my wardrobe. I know I just did that huge wardrobe declutter, but I don't know about you guys, in my wardrobe, there's always something that shows up that I'm like, why do I own you? Ooh. It's you. So this dress is really cute. I love it. It just doesn't fit right on me. And I held on to it because I thought it would be the perfect sundress for when I moved to California. Cute with cowboy boots. I just had a whole idea in my head of how this outfit would look. But since now I am not moving there, I guess I don't need this anymore. That's one. I feel like there could be something in my pajama drawer, for sure. Like mismatched top or bottoms. Oh, yes, this. It served me well, but I believe I got rid of the matching bottoms during my big wardrobe declutter, so I don't know why I held on to the top. I don't need it, it can go. Two. Wait, wait, I have an idea. When I was going to visit my friend in Edinburgh last week, I put together a really cute outfit and I wanted to wear a waist belt. This story is irrelevant, by the way. But when I pulled my waist belt out of the box, I realized that a lot of the, like, what is this called? Fake leather. I don't know, is there a fancy word for that? I mean, there's probably not a fancy word for fake leather, but it started to come off and the belt just looks terrible. And for some reason, instead of seeing this, recognizing that it was unwearable and throwing it away, I saw it, recognized it was unwearable and put it back in the cupboard. What is that? Three. I have not one, not two, but three sleep masks. That seems a little excessive, especially because I don't even remember the last time I wore a sleep mask. So let's pick out the nicest one and get rid of the other two. I'm keeping the one that's in the shape of a cat because it makes me feel so happy. Five. This is going really well. I feel like I could conquer the world right now. So down here in this drawer that I actually decluttered as part of my makeup and cosmetics reorganization. I have this little box of hair ties and scrunchies. I know for a fact there is stuff in here that I don't need. Six, seven, eight. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? You have nine minutes and 50 <gasps> seconds left on your 20 minute timer. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes goes by so quickly. Okay, I found two more things. So I don't know if anyone else is this way, but I am a huge procrastinator and I have the best of intentions always, but it doesn't always follow through into anything that is anything, if you know what I mean. So for instance, when I finish burning 
a candle like this in a jar, I always put it to the side so I can melt out the rest of the wax and put the jar into the recycling. But I never actually get around to that process. So I have two burnt up candles that I'm waiting to melt and then recycle the jars. So if I do that today, then I can get rid of two jars. Okay, that's 10. It was my birthday last week, I think, or maybe the week before. I have no concept of time and I'm in too much of a rush to think about it. But I have all these birthday cards that my mom put into my room. She thought that I might want to keep them. So does this count? Can I count one per each card? I'm running out of time. I really don't have a lot of options here. I'm gonna take it. So that's one, two, three, four, five cards. That takes me up to 15, right? Another five items. We can do this. Maybe I can find some old underwear that's not looking so great. Let's take a look. Do I have any socks that have holes or socks that are gross or socks that have lost their elastic? Oh, Olaf socks. That's so cute, I forgot I had those. I just need to have a moment with myself right now because I have two pairs of over the knee socks. And at one time, over the knee socks were like my staple in life. But if I'm being honest with myself, it's probably been eight years since I've rocked that look. And I don't know that I can go back to the person I was when I was like 21. I think the over the knee socks are done for me. And as sad as I feel about that, at least I have two more things I can add to my pile. I am just scrambling around in drawers looking for some kind of miracle. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? You have 30 seconds left <gasps> on your 20 minute timer. What? Like where did the last five minutes of my life go? Oh my gosh, I've got like 10 seconds. There's gotta be something. Help me. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, Alexa, stop the timer. Wow. Well, okay. I have two big takeaways from this experiment. One, 20 minutes is not a lot of time. Two, it's really surprising how clutter just worms its way into your life. And even if you're actively trying to declutter and you're really trying your best to just like keep the unnecessary junk to a minimum, there are things that you look over and there are things that kind of just like come into your life without you really noticing. So I'm glad that I did this. I would feel happier if I had succeeded, of course, but that's not a complete fail. I still managed to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So I have the two candle jars. I have the two pairs of over the knee socks, the belt, two sleep masks, two headbands, and a really grimy looking scrunchie, five birthday cards, one dress, and one pajama top. So that's 17 items altogether. Obviously, I didn't reach my goal of getting rid of 20 things in 20 minutes, but it was way harder than I expected. But you know what? I found another 17 things to declutter that are gonna be taking up less space in my life now and helping me to get things a little bit more organized in here. Plus, that was actually a good time. Like that was a pretty fun way to spend 20 minutes, a little bit stressful, a little bit chaotic, but that's how I like to live my life in case you didn't already know. If you guys decide to try out this challenge, let me know in the comment section down below how you get off. Did you beat me? Did you manage to get 20 items? I will be really impressed if you did. That's pretty much all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Bye.